Right, adding pictures to your XBMC um, install is very simple to do indeed. It's literally just a case of copying your photo albums over to um, a storage device. So you can either use the integrated storage device that you use for XBMC, um, that's perfectly fine. So, you know, if you're using a Raspberry Pi on a USB stick, you can copy files over via. Um, SSH, you know, via a program such as WinSCP, which is very simple to use. It's just a case of drag and drop. Um, and I've done guides on that as well, how to use that. Um, you know, if you're using a, a PC, you can just copy it straight over to the internal hard drive, or you can use external drives. You know, it's entirely up to you. Um, so long as XBMC can see them, as long as they're actually located somewhere on the system, um, you can access them, or even a network drive, you know. Um, if I wanted, I, you know, if I had a PC set up somewhere in the house that's always on, you know, I, I could use that as a location. If that's a shared folder on the network, I could choose that. So, um, very useful. Uh, let's have a look. So, all you've got to do, once you've got them on your actual system, you go into the pictures section, add a source, click on browse, and you've just got to find that folder. So um, as I say, if you you know if you if they was on a network on another computer, you could have a look in there. You know you've got your network NFS or SMB. Um, but what I'm going to do is um, just add the sample pictures that um, Windows uh, installs. So I'm going to click on pictures, and there you go. There's my sample pictures folder. So OK that. Um, give it a name down there. I'm fine with sample pictures. That's absolutely fine. And if you had um, other locations, you know, if you add other drives with um, pictures on, you can add them in here as well in this section. Um, you know, if you wanted to keep them the same under the same banner, sample pictures. So if you had more sample pictures, you could go to add, and then um, and then you can browse browse for another one. Um, you know, and it bring up two. You can add another one, a third one. But we will get rid of that. We just have the one. Oops. And um, we can come out of there now. And if we go into sample pictures, here's our sample pictures. And if you um, bring out the slide menu to the left, um, depending on your skin, um, it's, it's generally left. Uh, down the bottom here, you've got slideshow and also randomize. So if you do a slideshow, it will um, literally do a slideshow um, of uh, one after the other. Randomize will, like it says, randomize everything. Um, so let's just give it a go and there you go you get a nice little slideshow come up and if you wanted what works really well you know if you've got friends family around and you wanted to show off some pictures with a bit of music in the background uh, you can do so you know you can um, go to the music menu first start playing your music or radio or whatever you wanted on in the background and then just play a slideshow you know it works really well um, so I'm just going to stop that now and um, whilst we're in here I'll just show you if you want to set them up as a screensaver, um, your pictures folder, all you need to do is go into your settings and appearance. And in here, we've got screensaver at the bottom. So it's set to dim. So after three minutes, you can see there, three minutes, um, it saves, uh, it goes to screensaver dim, just dims the screen. But you can change that. Um, you can change that to many different things. But if you go to get more, what you'll find is slideshow. So click on that, install. Come back out again. Uh, go back to screensaver section. Click on where it says dim, and you've got slideshow. Okay, so now all you need to do is uh, change the settings in there. So currently it's uh, coming up as video fan art. You can have video fan art come up as a slideshow. Um, you can choose an image folder we can have uh, music fan art. So I'm going to go with that image folder. And it was, um, there we go, sample pictures. OK. And you could choose how long each, um, each image displays for. So just for testing purposes, I'm just going to put it as four seconds. And, um, and you can change the effect as well. Um, I quite like pan and zoom, personally. And what else we got? Um, yeah, you can choose to display information over the top, overlay in information, and and that's about it really. Okay, so um, so we can okay that, 
and if we just preview that because we don't really want to wait three minutes um, just to show you how it works I'll preview that and this is what's going to happen so there you go you can see a little slideshow going through and it should change every four seconds um, so nice little feature you know especially if you've got thousands of uh, photos that you never get to see um, hidden away in photo albums and that it's a good way of um, seeing old photos that you know you've totally forgotten about so uh, yeah that's the uh, pictures and screensavers